Timberwolves have won four games in a row at home. Today, they depart on a five-game road trip. A little nap, man. Take me a little nap. <laughs> Now we go on the road, you know, more there's going to be more natural adversity, environmental factors, etc. So, you know, now we got to kind of shift gears and be ready for that. Yeah, yo. Yo, focus on three. One, two, three. Focus. focus. I mean, the vibes are really hot. We all have energy. We all have the best effort that we can put out on the floor. I mean, it's been amazing. Great start. A, a big step maturity-wise from last year and the years before. We're playing for each other. We're playing together. And for us to come on the road, that's what we're going to need. And we're holding each other to that standard of playing hard for 48 minutes. Let's go Wolves on three. One, two, three. Whoa. That's what I needed. That's what I thought. That's what I need. I need more negativity. There you go. One. Look at that. Three. There you go. Two. Oh, there you go. See? Hey, we yeah. Both. There you go. Three up. That's all I needed was some negativity. I need negativity. Let's go. Chris Finch along with us. We get set for the Spurs here tonight, trying to win five in a row, beginning this important road trip. You guys have moved up the Western Conference standings. And oh yeah, it just happens to be an in-season tournament game. Group stage uh, starts tonight. It's got a little bit of a different court that fans have probably seen, but does that change your approach in any way, shape, or form? It should not. You know, we explained it to them yesterday in detail, walked them through the way the tournament works. You know, we wanted to make sure that they understood that the game was really worth double. Coach, as always, appreciate the time. Good luck tonight. Thank you. Chris Finch, Cal, let's go back to you. From San Antonio, formerly the AT&T Center, renamed the Frost Bank Center here just outside the downtown limits of San Antonio. Bounce it back to the big man. He'll catch, he'll shoot, and hit. Second three of the game for Cat. Now A will pull up on the straightaway three and sink it. Wow. How about the talent? Splitting a double down the lane, Ant takes care of business, dunking it through with two hands. Timberwolves are going to pick up their first road win of the season. They make it five straight wins overall. They improve to six and two on the season. The next day, the Wolves travel to San Francisco for practice. Early on in the year, I think we've really, you know, made a jump defensively. I think of the whole uh, top to bottom, our attention to detail, uh, our effort that we're giving on both ends. But these are all great challenges for us. You know, we've, we've had a bunch of different types of games that we've had to win, a bunch of different types of teams we've had to play. This is only our, like, what, third road game or so, third or fourth road game. So we got to get used to the hostile environments, you know, playing against some of the better teams in the league. Obviously, Golden State is one of those. So I'm just super excited to get, get to compete against them. And uh, I know the rest of our team are, are too. For tonight's tip between the Timberwolves and Warriors, the Timberwolves 6 and 2, the third best team in the Western Conference. Golden State comes in at 6 and 4. They are currently in the 5 spot in the Western Conference. Nice 
down the lane to the rim. It's good. Off glass for two. Kyle Anderson on the score sheet. Tied at 27. We've lost the last three years, so we've we've won what like four or five games in a row, and we like the feeling. So I don't think it's, I don't think we too high or too low. I think we just right here because we know we know how I feel to lose. I think we don't want to go back there. So we're just coming out playing hard every night. Looks like create like just even a little more hunger with each win. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we we try and get another one. We try and get another one. Stack just stack days on top of each other. Gentlemen, mm -hmm. the Warriors, the Timberwolves. We'd love to come up here and get two. Regardless of uh, whether Steph was playing or not playing, when you play a team in back-to-back -back situations, you have to be aware for human nature. So I think our guys are wanting to uh, go out there and play again. And in some ways, you know, a little bit of an unknown on what kind of game it might be. So that keeps us on edge. Whether or not we, we like Rudy Gobert as a person or whatever the case may be, he's a hell of a basketball player. He's also a Hall of Famer. And the respect level has to be there. There's no way that man should have been in a chokehold like that. My boy Rudy Gobert, like everyone can do that. I'm gonna keep coming. Step back three. And so we're scoreless. We'll stay 0 0 the first two minutes. And then. Teams have to be separated. Somehow Draymond just got Rudy around the neck from behind. You know, Minnesota also feels that they're a team you know, emerging in the West. They think it's their time. Right now, they're one of the hottest teams in the NBA. Honestly, it was just we just had to grind out this win. Like, it was nothing in particular. It was you know getting a loose ball here or there, offensive rebound, a, a deflection, a block, a big block at you know uh, Rudy head at the end of the corner. Um, guys making extra passes, you know, hands pass in the game. I mean, just just wasn't one particular thing, but it was just uh, us finding a way in a night that was you know pretty hectic. Interrupts in Minnesota. Mike delivers. That's a two possession advantage with 8.6 seconds left. Mike Conley if you need him. What did you think when you saw the video of it? I mean, nothing more. You know, it's just uh, it's clown behavior. Uh, I'm, I'm proud of myself for, you know, uh, being uh, the bigger man again and again. You know, my team needed me tonight. And uh, yeah, I mean, nothing more than that, you know. It wasn't good enough of a choke to, uh, for me to slip. So <laughs> I just kept my hands up and, uh, you know, and waited until it was over. First, second of a back-to-back -back all season. If you're facing their big three, that's the first time they're together. Um, is this a different type of challenge than maybe you've seen so far this season? So you have the ability to make their own shot, rise up over you with some length and be able to shoot it, or, or athleticism. It comes down to a lot of one-on-one -on -one defense. Chemezi Metu will come up in the front court and he will dribble it out. Schedule loss. Timberwolves come up short in Phoenix on the second of a back-to-back, 133-115. -to -back, a beat down. The Suns led by as many as 28.
they cruise to the win here tonight rather easily. Doing a thing on ET, and I, you know, we're, I was talking to you about like you know how you and Heat collaborate a lot, and, and kind of how has that process been for you guys? Year two was huge, and uh, you know it took it took it took in you know, a little bit of time. You know, last year was a uh, a process, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's been fun. You know, it's been fun because uh, what I love about ET is that he, he really cares about what he does. To me, that's really, really important. Like caring about putting your soul into what you do and really taking a lot of pride to uh, meet us being a, a great defensive team. You know, so to me, that's that's the number one thing that I care about. And then obviously, yeah, we got to know each other. We got to, you know, we, we communicate a lot. But uh, I told him before this decision, I said, you know, the top defense this year. And uh, I said, just, you know, trust in me and then you know, trusting you and you. And, Get your hands off the man when you close out. If that arm is in there and you're riding him, you stay in there and go with him. How about that? Real simple. Just put your hands out and show your hands. Let's go, bro. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. six Pelicans in hopes of bouncing back from their loss in Phoenix. Enjoying that, 27 in the game. The goal along with six rebounds and nine dimes. With 10 seconds to go in the game neck and neck, Anthony Edwards has fouled out, a major blow that could be a costly one. The horn sounds and this ball game is over. Timberwolves escape 121-120. Carl Anthony Towns with a game-winning bucket off glass with 5.2 seconds left. Yeah, Sarsky. Keep it alive, Yeah, Sarsky. Down 14. What? Four. Woo! Just some ball players right Shit. there, bitch. You got some ball players, bitch. Good job. Family on three. One, two, three. Family. <laughs> <laughs>